In this short video we're going to show you how to apply the Lava 20 waterproofing system onto an OSB board. This system is relatively easy to use compared to other traditional systems. It's liquid applied and all we're doing is we're taping the joints between the OSB boards, we're filling them with PU mastic and we're taping them. And then we cover it with two coats of the Lava 20 and that's it, job done. <laughs> I know it's crazy, it sounds too easy but this is exactly what it is. Add the two coats, you're going to achieve 20 year warranty and if you add the additional grey top coat, you can achieve 25 year warranty in three coats. The first thing that we do is we fill the joints between the OSB boards using PU Mastic. This is a similar to silicone, but the chemistry is, is, is a little bit different. It's based on the polyurethane, it's, so it's a part of the system. So we fill it using a scraper. Then we take a brush, we dip it in the primer and we rub it in just to achieve a smooth surface. Once we have that done, we prime the entire area using a super quick primer. The super quick primer will set in about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the weather conditions. Once we have that done, then we jump onto the tapes. So we use the mesh tape and we tape all of the joints with the wet on wet technique. So basically what we do is we dip the brush into the can, we apply a little bit of the lava onto the joint and then we apply a tape. On top of that, we coat it with another coat of lava and that's it, your joints are done. Once you have all of the joints and all of the details done, then you come back and you apply first coat of the lava. So what you do is you mix the accelerator with the can just to make sure that it activates and it sets faster. It's not required, but we recommend that you do it so you can come back the next day and walk on it. Sometimes the lava might not set in a day if you apply it thicker than one and a half mil. So that's why we always recommend to use the accelerator with the first coat. Once you have that done, you come back the next day and you apply the second coat. Before you apply the second coat, you want to go over the roof and you want to make sure that there is no imperfections and no creases in the tape. If you have any creases or imperfections in the tape or in the roof substrate, what you do is you use a sandpaper, you could use an 80 grade sandpaper and just sand down the imperfections. Use the leaf blower to blow off the excess of the dirt and we apply the second coat of the lava. And that's it, your job is done. But if you wanna achieve the 25 year warranty, what you do is you apply an extra coat of the dark resin. We always apply the dark resin for the price of it, if, you, if I'm correct, a bucket of the dark resin is something around 100 euro and it will do around 25 square meters. So for the price of it, it's really recommended to use it. Also, if the client requires a darker color, it's also a good opportunity just to give him an extra option. And at that, we have the roof waterproof. So this system will expand and contract throughout the year. It's not like fiberglass, so it's never gonna crack, and it's almost hard to fail at. Once it's applied onto clean and dry substrate, the system is physically impossible to fail.